welcome to Joe Club. I'm Joe. Today we have a great show for you. We have some interviews and a special report. Now I'm anxious to get started. Let's go. Today we're going to be exploring the American dream in high school and the ambitions of teenagers and the different values they have when searching for a job. In fact, I went out into the field at Trinity High School and conducted some interviews which we will gladly show you. And later, Dr. Ben will come to present our findings with a special report. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see these interviews. Um, what's most important um, in, your, in your job? Happiness, helping others, or money? Happiness. <laughs> see, nobody else except for you will find that funny. So. You have to sing it. Happiness is... Earning the money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's more important for me to be happy. Between money, happiness, and helping others, it would be to helping others. The important thing in life to me is happiness. Money really doesn't count because money can't buy you happiness. In my opinion, the most important thing in a job is happiness. If you like what you do, um, you can't go wrong with that. What's okay. your dream job? Do your parents support it? All right, so I have to say my dream job is either something, I really don't know, maybe something with racing, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I've got several options, uh, I've, I've thought of band, possibly, and I've thought of something to do with racing, and yeah, my parents both support me. Well, I want to be an elementary teacher. And my parents do support me. My dream job is being a record producer, and they support that dream because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Money was not a factor. What job would you pursue? Money was not a factor. I would pursue. I don't think that's not a top of the main Um, an actress job, even if that is a lot with money. I would do it anyways. Um. If money weren't a factor, I would continue my lacrosse playing career and go pro. Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those interviews. I know I enjoyed conducting them. Now it's time for our special report with Dr. Ben to present our findings. Dr. Ben is a renowned psychologist and statistician and what I consider to be a personal friend. Welcome everybody. Thank you, thank you. I'm here today to present my special report. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about these graphs. Well, the first one I'd like to point out is the career choices. In the ninth graders, 50% of the students said that they would actually attempt to pursue their dream job. However, only 40% of 12th grade students said that they would actually pursue their dream job. Now, that's interesting. Why do you think that is? There's a very good possibility that by the time students reach the 12th grade, they realize that some other factor will be affecting their dream job. I understand. Now let's move on. Tell me about these other graphs. Another interesting point is the parental support. 16% of students did not feel that their parents would support them in their dream job in 9th grade, and 19% of 12th grade students felt that their parents did not support them. These numbers are fairly consistent throughout both ninth and 12th grade. Can you draw any conclusions from that? Well, I think it's important to realize that most parents are willing to support their children no matter what they do, but there's always going to be a few that don't agree. I see. Now, what about these other graphs here? Well, the heart of our report is money. Students, when asked what their most important factor for choosing their career, most of them pointed to happiness. However, As they should as they should correct. However, only a few pointed to making money and a couple more to helping people. However, when asked in a separate question, 43% of 12th grade students said that money would have caused them not to pursue their dream job, and 67% of 9th grade students said that money would not cause them to pursue their dream job. That's interesting. Those graphs seem to contradict one another. It is. I think it's this that the first graph is more idealistic, however, the second graph people realize that reality and also money have an effect. Right, so when asked what's the most important thing, people are going to say happiness, but in reality they know that money is a driving factor. 
Jopra. You are a genius. Oh, Dr. Ben. I hear that too much anyway. Well, that's our show for you. Thank you so much again for stopping by.